Hello my crafty friends, it's Marie from Marie's Vermont Creations and today I'm making a beach scene card and I am inking on some Distress Oxide inks and this is tumbled glass that I'm putting down right now and I am using a makeup brush that I got from Walmart. The next color that I'm putting down now is Salty Ocean and I'm wanting it to be a little splotchy so each of the colors can shine through and then I'm going to take Mermaid Lagoon and I'm going to just do that around the edges and then I'm going to continue to go back and forth with these three colors until I get a water look that makes me happy. Um, I am doing about two thirds of this panel and it is cut to four by five and a quarter um, so that I'll have a little border around the edge when I'm done. Now I'm taking Wild Honey and when I first started I thought mm, that's a little yellow I'm not sure about the about that for sand. Um, so then I took some gathered twigs and I am going to um, fill in over that and I'm trying not to get too much into the green especially when I used the Wild Honey and I don't mean green, I meant blue, because you will get green when you add the wild honey to it. Um, so I was trying to avoid that section. So now I'm going to put this in my stamp positioning tool. And I am using the stamp set Ocean Minded from Gina K. Now, please keep in mind, because I have done this card now three times, and I couldn't figure out the first two times why I didn't like the way that it looked. This stamp that I'm putting down matters of what direction you put it in, and I kept using it upside down. Um, so the more flat part goes towards <laughs> the beach on your card. Um, so I'm inking this up with Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink, and I'm going to stamp this down, press it down really well, and then I'm going to cover it with white embossing powder, and I'm going to heat set that. I do heat set it off camera. You guys have seen me heat set just make sure it's all smooth and melted um, it's if it's grainy and dry looking then it's not all melted you need it to be shiny so um, I'm just gonna get that all covered up and take care of that and then I had originally stamped my sentiment which was happy birthday from the ocean minded stamp set up in the right hand corner using Simon Says Stamp soft navy ink I didn't end up liking it um, so I do take and put it on a white strip of cardstock to um, do the sentiment and I'm pretty sure I stamped that down in Mermaid Lagoon um, Distress Oxide ink. So I just press that down and then I'm going to take and fishtail the end so you just trim your paper, snip it in the middle and then meet the two points in the middle and you get a nice um, little flag a banner for your sentiments. And so then I'm just going to add some double sided adhesive and adhere that over the section that I had stamped already to cover that up. So that's today's project. I really love this stamp set, so I'm hoping to use it um, quite a bit more. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. And as always, I hope you have a great day.